in the midst of, of, of massive cutbacks all over the place, all over this house, uh, we managed to, to get ourselves a 40% increase on the Erasmus reform. I mean, that's a, that's a, that's a thing to celebrate indeed. Uh, having said that, uh, I think between four and five million students uh, the next coming up seven years will be able to, to study abroad. Uh, this is a major achievement and I'm very happy and this is a very satisfactory day. Having said that, uh, I think that we have to bring the Erasmus project to the next level. Uh, I think that we now have to focus the coming years on the quality more than the quantity. That's to say, we have to look uh, more in, in, in depth into the, the project as such, uh, the Erasmus program as such, in order to find out how to, to qualify the students more when they are abroad. We are talking about 14.7 billion euros the, the coming si seven years, so was, of course it's a lot of money. 63% uh, of, of the money will go to what we understand as the traditional Erasmus uh, students from the universities primarily. 22% uh, will go to vocational training, that's what we also call the Leonardo program. Uh, around 15% will go to, to the primary schools, they are also part of this program now. And the last 6% will go to, to adult training, so also adults can, can, can uh, look forward to, to be better prepared for the future. So all in all, we have all, I mean, we have older people, we have youngsters, we have primary school, school students, we have university students, we have vocational training. Uh, we, have, we have it all in, under one hat now, and that is, that is part of the idea, uh, to have it all streamlined now. There's a new possibility to, um, to take out a student loan to fund uh, postgraduate studies, which wasn't available before. Uh, so this obviously will enable people who aren't from wealthy backgrounds um, to do postgraduate study, and they won't have to start paying back the loan until they get a job after their course. Um, so that's one example of how it's been um, extended. It's been a priority for the Liberal Group to um, invest in areas that are related to you know, growth, jobs, employment and clearly the Erasmus programme is one of those because it allows people to study or train abroad which obviously is a great experience for them and, and actually useful for their you know, future employment. It's now also going to include the vocational um, students as well, how, how important is this? Um, well, it, there was possibilities previously to uh, use it for vocational training, but it's not always taken up. Um, but yeah, it, it's really good news. I mean, in a lot of countries, including in, in my own in the UK, we're pushing vocational training, higher vocational training a lot. So it'd be great if, for example, an apprentice can go and do part of their training in another European country, just adds to their experience and makes them more attracted to employers afterwards.